all the recent layoffs going on in big tech, everybody is treating it like it's the ugly stepsister from Shrek. In reality, tech is not dying. However, she is changing. And the need for some roles are just not as important as they used to be. For those of you who are still trying to break into tech or are already in tech and just want to pivot, I'm here to share with you six entry-level tech positions that are still high in demand. Hey there, and welcome back to Sassy Tech where I try to provide valuable information and resources. I'm gonna get right into it. The first job that I'm gonna mention on this list will definitely be tech sales. So tech sales is how I personally broke into tech. Let me go ahead and put my glasses on. So a tech sales SDR is like the ultimate connector. They hustle hard to find potential customers, reach out to them via phone, email, or social media, introducing them to tech products and services, and scheduling meetings for the tech sales team to help generate new business opportunities. Somebody who is highly ambitious and money motivated can definitely be considered for this position. With most entry-level positions offering around 65 to 80K and further down the career path, you can make anywhere upwards of 100 to 250K as an account executive. Now, don't get me wrong, by no means this is an easy job. It takes a lot of grit and strategy to be successful. But for those who end up doing very well in the position, get paid very well. Some of the requirements needed may include great communication skills, familiar with CRMs, Google Suites, Slack, and Salesforce, and proven track record in meeting or surpassing KPI. If you don't have relevant education or experience, you can definitely leverage boot camps like Course Careers or Springboard, to name a few, to become more competitive in the market. Speaking of Course Careers, for the next 10 people who use my link and code, I will also be throwing in my Sassy Bundle. The Sassy Bundle includes resume review and feedback, top 20 interview questions, course career study guide, and a one hour video session with me where we do a mock interview and I answer any questions that you may have. Okay, so next on our list is going to be tech support slash help desk. You will provide technical support and assistance to users resolving their IT related issues and answering questions. This is a fairly easy job to get into. Many have used this position as a stepping stone into higher positions. It's not the highest paid entry level job on this list. However, further down the line, you will make anywhere from 70 to 80K as a systems administrator, and then on to about 130 to 170K as a systems architect. And granted, to reach those incomes, it's going to take some time and skill development. But in the end, it's definitely worth it. People who are generally patient and technically skilled individuals with excellent problem solving abilities and strong communication skills are well suited for a tech support role. Some of the skills that you may need to be successful in this role and to actually snag a job will include good knowledge of PC hardware and software, familiar with the ticketing system, and good understanding of computer systems, mobile devices, and other tech products. A bachelor's degree and or IT related studies are sought out, but a high school diploma with a course or a boot camp can sometimes replace that requirement. Additional certifications like Microsoft Linux, as well as CompTIA A plus and CompTIA IT fundamentals are A plus. Okay, we're moving on along to number three on the list, which will be a technical writer. So technical writers create documentation, manuals, and guides for software and products. They provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the software along with screenshots and explanatory text to help users navigate the interface and perform specific tasks. So essentially in this position, you will develop the how-to guide, slide decks, interactive online trainings, and educational video for the non-technical user. If you are someone with strong writing skills and can explain technical concepts clearly, you are well suited for a technical writer role. The entry level salary is around 55 to 85K, but with some experience, your salary can increase up to 100 to 140K a year. So with this position, you will need some experience creating manuals, PowerPoints, 
and training content. A bachelor's degree, however, is the minimum requirement for this position without any real way around that. A computer science degree is an absolute plus, but if you studied in a different field, the CPTC, AKA Certified Professional Technical Communicator Certificate, will help you get a foot in the door. So fourth on the list is going to be Quality Assurance Tester. These fine people assure software products meet quality standards by identifying bugs, running tests, documenting issues and reporting them so that developers can fix it. Their job is all about assuring what you're using is top notch and glitch free. The lowest educational requirement for a QA tester will be a high school diploma or equivalent as well as Microsoft SQL. However, a bachelor's in computer science will definitely give you that competitive advantage over someone who does not have it. So coming in on number five on our list will be junior UX UI designer. Junior UX UI designers help make the user experience on a website or app easy, smooth, and visually pleasing. They are usually a part of a wider team to create layouts, mockups, and prototypes for web and mobile applications. UI stands for user interface and UX is for user experience. So this role has grown over 23% since 2021 and there is no stop in this train. As more businesses become more competitive when it comes to user experience, this job will absolutely stay in demand for quite some time over the next few years to come. You may be a great fit for the role if you are a creative and empathetic individual with a curious mindset, strong attention to detail, aesthetics, and the ability to think critically about user needs. Expect to make anywhere from 60 to 80K in your first year with a pay increase that can be well over 200K a year as you move up the ladder. As for the experience needed for this position, a basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, proficiency in design tools such as Sketch, Figma, and Adobe Creative Suite. Although a bachelor's degree in graphic design is you know, preferred, you can definitely learn how to become a UX UI designer completely on your own, like how some people teach themselves how to code, or there are many courses that will help you with skill development and even job placement. Last but not least, we have made it to job number six, data analysts. So data analysts are like a detective of numbers. Digging deep into data to uncover hidden patterns and to tell a story. They take all the raw information, make sense of it, and help businesses make smarter moves, helping companies grow and succeed. So the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics predict that the demand for data analytics jobs will grow by 23% between 2021 and 2031. You'll bring home about 50 to 70K in your first year. And of course, later down the line, you'll be making well over 100K. So if you're into solving puzzles and diving deep into numbers, this may be a perfect fit for you. Some requirements for this role include having technical skills like SQL, Excel, Tableau, and Python, along with great communication skills, and obviously a way with numbers. As far as education goes, a four-year degree in a related field is best. However, many have broken in with the skills that I mentioned before, as well as portfolio projects that they've created on their own. Or of course, the use of leveraging boot camps and certification. So that concludes my list. Like I said, tech is definitely not dying. You just have to know what to look for. And reminder, while degree and experience may not be required for you to land some of these roles, having a relevant certification, online course, or building a portfolio of projects can greatly increase your chances of landing something. Make sure you network, attend tech meetups, and things of that nature to improve your chances of getting in front of somebody who can possibly hire you. So it's time for me to get on out of here. Do your best, forget the rest, and make sure you have a wonderful day. Have a good one.